Hey everybody, hope everyone's doing all right. Um, this one is about the prevalence of increasing mental illness and how Buxby can empower well-being. I don't mean to sound objective about this, but um, hear me out and we'll see where we go. For me, the fundamental um, distress of, of mental illness is disempowerment. It is a lack of access to resources to be empowered. And money, of course, or access to money, is a real problem with that. And we talk about we want people to get better, but we're still left with organizations and frameworks around organizations that make that less. I've been speaking to some people with issues that I have or had, and it's really interesting to hear their um, MO. It's more to do with, oh, I have someone to talk to and that's about it, not addressing aspects of being uh, disempowered or being in at a point of distress. So, as things develop, then you kind of get stuck and you need to have something as a, uh, something to go to, to alleviate that distress. And there are lots of people that may have families that are supportive and supportive, but there are many who don't. there are a lot more people that don't have money to access relevant resources. Just speaking to a psychiatrist as an example, it's really hard if you're on, um, on social benefits and then you want to see a psychiatrist. Uh, and then psychologists want to just talk but not do much. Talking is not, not, <laughs> it might help some people, but it's more to do with the environments that we're in. And I missed this point on the previous um, video about how social dynamics change. And predominantly people follow the status quo. And if there is a perpetual disempowerment in, in what people do because they don't have access, then there's always going to be a problem and we'll always think it's us and them. And we're really good at this, this dial uh, um, duopoly. It's either the people that don't have and the people that have. And that's not to say that people who have would even think about accessing support if they need it, because it will look bad. But I'm here to talk about the, the mainstream people that don't have access to money, don't have a, uh, access to education, and even if they have access to to education, they have little capacity to practice that. So Buxby, again, neutralizes the framework of access. It doesn't mean that if you need support that you'll be denied it because you don't have the money. Because you're the money. The people who want to help you are the money. Their time, your time is respected uh, to empower you because then the last thing that uh, someone of support wants to do is keep uh, keep you in a loop that you're needed for their survival. There's this capacity to be neutral and there, there is a way to empower you. You can always go back if you need, but the whole objective is for both of you to connect together to find out where the source problem source problems are and let go and I think in money we have this massive massive problem uh, with how to empower people that's where I think the fundamental flaws of mental illness come from and why 
a different type of money is so important for any of us to progress further. I really hope that makes sense. I know it might sound um, not not in your not in the frameworks that you understand empowerment to be, but it's all the more reason why I've created Buxby. So thanks. Take care.